So I'm a big fan of cover crops and have experimented with multiple types of cover crops leading up to our uh, test plot with the rye that we're talking about today. In this particular plot, we were raising full season soybeans. One of our goals was to see if we could plant in standing rye, in rolled rye, and we wanted to try to measure that against our common practice of killing the cover crop out early and then planting in the dry matter left behind. Planting green is a big part of our test here and rolling that green cover crop was a big part of this test also. I planted that rye mid-October last year. We planted the soybeans and rolled all in the same day, which was the first of May, probably May 9th, I believe was the date. And then we harvested those beans in mid-October. And here we are in December, thinking about what we did, reviewing some of the information that we that we generated from this test plot. The rye in itself is a great cover for holding back weeds. There is very little weed pressure in this field anywhere simply because of the rye. We did not have a flush of weeds at any time during the growing season. Having that mat on the ground suppressed a lot of weed activity and it is doing it still. Here we are, you know, December 8th. We're going to go out and look at that field and be amazed at the weed suppression that is still going on with that field right now. Here in the foreground is where we did our plot with the rye. I do have vetch planted out here in both fields. Uh, so that is some of the greenery that you're seeing. Uh, but hopefully you can see in the, in the background, there's a lot more weed pressure than there is here where I had the rye. Whether the rye was rolled or not rolled, the rye has done a great job of suppressing air weeds uh, here in December. Uh, whereas that was a wheat cover crop that really has virtually no cover left. And as you can see at this point, it is it has a lot of weed pressure. So there's no doubt in my mind that the rye, no matter how you uh, manage it, has a lot of value in weed suppression. So I'm Michael Fluster. I'm an Extension Weed Science Specialist with Virginia Tech and Virginia Cooperative Extension. So in a fall planted cover crop that we're going for high biomass, I think there's definitely a lot of potential for, for weed suppression because that's one of the key factors when we're talking about a cover crop and weed suppression is the amount of biomass we're getting. So if we're talking about competition with the winter annual weed such as horseweed or mare sale, which we have a lot of glyphosate resistance to in the state which makes it problematic, get that uh, the bi biomass in the winter and some of my research has shown that we can reduce uh, the amount of horseweed by 80 to 90 percent compared to a winter fallow field. So that's something that has a lot of potential, I think, in Virginia. The other thing is when we have all that biomass, if, if we can use that to uh, make a mulch layer, that mulch layer is, is going to prevent sunlight from getting down to those seeds. And so the small seeds, particularly pigweed or Palmer amaranth, is one we have a lot of problems with in Virginia. Very small seed, so it needs to start conducting photosynthesis and, and get sunlight on those leaves very quickly after, uh, after it germinates we have that mulch layer there above it, it doesn't have enough energy contained in that small seed to get through it. And so that's another uh, species that has a lot of herbicide resistance that I think we can really help uh, manage through the use of, of a high biomass cover crop.